Well, you've heard of January favorites, but we're almost midway through February. Whoops, let's call it winter and show you some stuff we've bought. Okay guys, we're gonna kick things off. No pun intended. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Shiz. They are dirty because, I mean, obviously I wear them all the time if I wanna show them to you. So these are the Nike 4.0 fly knit. They're really stretchy and the reason I like them is because I can literally slip into them. I don't have to untie the shoelaces. Talk about four-year-old me really <laughs> coming into my own with the slip-ons. So I just love these. They're great for short distance runs. They're great for running around. They're great for work days. So favorite. I love the material. Me too. They're so super, And gray is like I, I have to have some gray shoes. In my totally. Life. And didn't so. you say, I feel like I asked you before, and those come in lots of different colors, right? Yeah, they come in like 10 different colors. Might have to be yeah. copycat. If you're looking to invest in a great sneaker, like an everyday slip on easy sneaker, these are the ones. I'm going to kick it off with a little present from you, actually. Oh. I just turned the big 2 7 and uh, Ariel got me some glasses I have been eyeballing forever from Anthropology, and they're in this really cool kind of smoky lavender color, yeah, like a grayish a lavender. Yeah, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, they have the gilded rim, and they're just a really nice, hearty size, and let's face it, they're just great on a bar cart. And yeah. these come in lots of different colors too. Yeah, they do. So they're like the perfect thing to just pick up a couple and I love mismatched glassware. Yeah. So thanks again. You're welcome. <laughs> this next thing, it's actually something that's changing my life and I need to tell you about it. It is the Sleep Comes Easy Little Moon Essentials Uniquely Magical Aromatherapy Mist and it literally puts me to sleep. It's basically like a lavender water mist. So you can put it on your sheets, you can put it on your um, your pajamas. I like to just spritz some just right here like that and then go like this. And then I fall asleep like this and just inhale it for the next 15 seconds. So, and then I'm out. All right, so in the winter months, my skin gets really red and dry, and it's super, super annoying. And a couple years ago, I was introduced to First Aid Beauty, and I have not looked back. I gotta get on that train. It's it's I, honestly I awesome. Don't know what I'm waiting for. I, I just it, the great thing about First Aid Beauty. What one of the great things is that it's a pretty reasonable price point. So yeah. for me, like when I first started getting into it, I didn't want my investment to be super high and then have my skin break out. Yeah. For example, everything is like under thirty dollars, which yeah. is amazing, um, and it doesn't have a lot of harsh chemicals, parabens, sulfates, so it's really gentle on your skin. And my newest favorite from them is the Ultra Repair Liquid Recovery Concentrate. Uh, it comes in this really cool, tiny little dropper bottle, and it's the consistency of water. I have been loving it. It's really been helping me with my redness issue, so get on that. Moving on to home decor. This is something we both have. Yes. I know you love to. I love. These are the Prisma Wall Decor in Copper, made by Umbra, but gotten through Sueno, mm -hmm. our friends at Sueno. So basically you can pull it apart and mount it on the wall, like flush on the wall, or you can hang them, or you can just have them sitting like this, which I do with this one on my dresser. It goes well with my new room that I just put together and yeah, great. Great item. In the home decor category as well, another birthday gift from Ariel I can't help but share. She made me the cutest little wall hanging and it's just so adorable. It's this really pretty kind of fishtail braided. That's what it's called. It's called fishtail cotton. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just uh, really natural, kind of goes with everything and she knows my color scheme. So she picked this really pretty canary yellow and a light peachy coral and it's just so cute. I was just telling her I've been moving it around because it goes everywhere and I can't decide where to put it because it looks so cute with everything but definitely has been one of my favorites. I'm so happy about that. Perhaps we'll do a little DIY someday. On yeah like absolutely. Yeah. My next favorite is from Rose and Fitzgerald. These are a set of three wooden votive holders and they just sit wherever I want them. <laughs> and I liked them. They just 
Yes. They're so cute. I love the little triangle. Yeah, it's cute. It's so cute. You can separate them. You can put them together. Cheers. (laughs) All right, so my next item, back on the cocktail equipment train. I found these really cool little wood cocktail picks at Crate and Barrel Outlet, actually. Yeah, we have one. Yes. yes. <laughs> lucky lucky enough to have one of the few good things about that Outlet Mall. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. But um, they were like $4 for this so set cute. of four. And they're this really pretty mango wood, and they look really cool, kind of juxtaposed with different glasses. I kind of like pairing them with something fancier, like you can kind of see even with a really kind of more ornate old Super fashion glass. Super modern though. That's really cute. Yeah, it's, it's really kind cute. Kind of retro, and I love them. My next item is essentially a blanket that I step into with my full body and limbs, and then proceed to zip myself into it. <laughs> It is a onesie that is also baby colors and has tiny penguins on it wearing hats. Oh my god. <laughs> it, I mean, it feels thing ever. It is the softest thing I own. I basically, it's, it's to the floor, but it's super long on me because I'm a very short person. And I, it had these like pom pom balls and I cut them off because mm. they were getting in the way of like everyday activities at home. <laughs> like if you had to go to the bathroom, it was like, all right, balls, move it. <laughs> So I cut them off and just tied them at the ends. But seriously, it's like it has a hood. It's I need one in my life. Just just for like a little bit of effect because we're not getting right. a uh, a detailed shot of this. Right. I also think it's a good life lesson to not be hindered by your pom pom balls. Yeah. So just this is it. Cut them right off. Mostly just want to see what this looks like with a full face of makeup because <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> Do you not normally wear Alamos crochet tops? <laughs> no. Okay. So, oh, it's from Forever 21, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, my next favorite. I am wearing it currently. Yeah, you are. Uh, it is from Kit and Ace, and it's this turtleneck midi dress. It's actually called the Conceal and Reveal dress. Really? Yeah, yeah I, I guess. That. I guess it's because my neck is concealed and my armpits are revealed <laughs> in the lower part of my calves. It's risque. Um, but it's from this brand, Kitten Ace, and we actually went to their location in Carlsbad the other day. Our, really cute. Yeah, our friend Jackie hooked us up with a really fun fit session yeah. and gave us some rosé. Oh, and so good. Oh, and we just tried on a ton of their really amazing basics, and it was hard to pick a favorite, yeah. but this was definitely mine. And I just feel like it's really versatile, and it's just so comfortable. Okay, in the writing genre, actually, no, this is most definitely used as a sketchbook for me. It's this little zipper notebook from Anthropology that was on sale, BT dubs. I have to put that in there because let's keep it real. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just red and it says master plan on it and it has like a blush pink zipper and it's just really, it's just plain pages, but I want to fill this up with painting ideas and just design stuff in general that I want to hold close to me. I love that it's like diary format and you can just like zip it up and the pages won't get harmed if you're traveling and it's just a super cute little addition to my sketchbook collection. Yeah, it just looks, it's one of those things that just looks so grown up and nice. Yeah. So cute. Thanks. That's a good one. So my next item is in the beauty category, and I have been obsessed with these little nail kits from Formula X. I found them at Sephora, and I have two here, actually. And one of them is kind of the fair skin package, so it comes with this really pretty cranberry, a really blush pink that it comes out really pretty, actually. Thank you. A really neutral kind of peachy tan and a really pretty sky blue. And then this one. I need that. This is awesome. This is like my favorite thing right now. Uh, It's the strengthening package. So it's like your base coat, top coat, a really pretty um, kind of like a neutral blushy pink. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, this cuticle conditioner that you can put on uh, before you paint your nails or just like leave it on by itself at night. And it's really good. Calvin. Keeping that nail game strong, literally. I will I will take your advice and purchase said tiny nail polishes. They're really cheap, too. Yeah, I that's think what I was hearing. I think it's like 12 bucks in that neighborhood. Yeah. You get, I mean, it's a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah. So, you get four. Okay, my next item is my latest bag, which I only 
purchase but once a year I use the same bag all the time I never really change it out I just love having one thing and then my stuff doesn't get lost I don't leave anything in any other bag yeah that's happened to me before so yeah. I just picked this burgundy color that was really simple and it goes with everything I have I wear a lot of black so this always works out nicely and you can take off the the strap and it can be a clutch but I never do that <laughs> so <laughs> it just has two compartments and it's super simple and it makes me carry less stuff and that's one of the main reasons why I got it it's from Urban Outfitters so my next item is a favorite that I have been wearing around the house traveling pretty much whenever I can get the chance and it is clean and that is <laughs> this blue and gray poncho hoodie and it is just like the softest thing ever. Um, Ooh. Yeah. It kind of, it goes with everything. It's so, it's open in the front. So if you're traveling, like it's super cozy to wrap yourself in. Uh, the sleeves also lay really flatly under things. So you can layer with it and it's not going to be all bulky and weird, yeah. which is really cool. And the great thing about blue and gray is they're just really focused on texture and materials. Yes. Yeah. So that's kind of my it, jam right now. It feels different from what you'd expect it to feel like. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like when you look at it, it just kind of looks like normal sweater material. Yeah. But it's just so cozy. It feels more but like. But it's light. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So. Love it. Super fave. Keeping it in the fashion department, I have a vegan leather jacket from Urban Outfitters and I have been wearing it every day of my adult life for the past month. It is so cute. It's BB Dakota and... If you're looking for something that you want to just throw on every day over a sweater, even over thicker things, it's still like molds to you and it's stretchy and it's just, it has this sweater material on one side of the arm and it kind of drapes in the front. And it's, it's so just, cute. It's just my staple for 2016 thus far. My last favorite is something I think is super cool and exciting. It is the Whip It Up Cookbook by Billy Green, the man behind the Wit and Vinegar blog. Uh, that is actually one of the first food blogs that I ever started following. Really? Yeah, and I always just admired Billy from That's afar. Cool. Yeah, for a really long time, and we met on Instagram, and he's just a super cool person, and he did this whole thing, like, top to bottom yeah. by himself. So I think it's just super awesome. His food photography is so vibrant, and it's just, it's really cool. The recipes are really approachable and delicious. I've made his cinnamon rolls, his chocolate chip cookies, his pancakes Make are it, insane. I'm having it over. Come over in jammies. But yeah, it's it's amazing and everyone needs it. It's a good staple. Look, he has like a whole chapter on Sunday sauces. I mean, come Brilliant. on. So Brilliant. cute. Get it. Get good it job. and whip it up. Oh, good job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. See what I did there. Yeah. So we have a joint favorite that we want to talk about this month and maybe perhaps we'll have one joint favorite every month. Oh, we should. Yeah. We have a lot of joint favorites On anyways. The spot. Might as well. So, it's an app that you edit photos in and it's called a color story mm -hmm. and it's just everything that we've ever wanted combined into one app. It's eliminated other apps that we've been using for years. It's just super super versatile in terms of efficiently editing your pictures the way that you want them and yes. We just, we love everything about it. So it's been saving time in our lives and perhaps yours too. Yeah, and I one of the things I really like about it is when you go to the different filter packages that they have, it kind of gives you a rundown of not only photo examples of yep. being edited with those filters, but what those filters might be great for. So, for example, yep. if you take a lot of food pictures, then you might want this certain package. Yep. Or if you're mainly doing portraits or landscapes, it kind of steers you in the right direction. Yep. It's just so easy. And for someone that is not a professional photographer that has been like classically trained like myself, it's been really easy to navigate and I'm obsessed. It's the only photo app on my phone right Me now. Too. It's super user friendly. And if you have been wondering about taking pictures in like interiors, for example, and mm -hmm. you want that bright white wall, it just gives you that with one filter. Mm -hmm. That's something I really love about totally. it. So 
Check it out. It's free in the it. App Store, a color story. Mad props to a beautiful mess for that yeah, one. Yeah, if you know who they are, that's who's behind it. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Good job. Yeah. Round of applause. All right, you guys, that was it for our January favorites. We had a lot of fun putting that together. That was super fun. And if you guys liked what you saw, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And be sure to check us out on our home away from home, goldwireblog.com, and at goldwireblog on Instagram, as well as at Ariel Bay and at Danny Colmato. That's us. See you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>